Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can make a low quality photo a lot better by restoring the quality. So maybe you have an old photo that is pretty low quality or you just have a photo which is taken with a bad camera. I will show you how you can restore this in Photoshop. And if you didn't know yet, I have Photoshop courses in case you want to learn more about Photoshop. These courses are really good for photographers or digital artists. So make sure to check them out and let's get into this video. So let's go into Photoshop and you can see here this photo is really bad quality. It's probably an old photo or it's saved in a bad way. So let me restore this photo really quickly. So if we go to filter and select neural filters, we can bring up the neural filters and here we have different filters that we can use. Now you can see here there's a lot of filters here from Photoshop and some of them are beta including the photo restoration. So if you haven't got this yet, just click on the little icon to download this filter. And once you have that, we can enable this filter. Now you can see here, we have the settings here. If you use an auto photo, so not a portrait of someone, you won't see this enhanced face function. So if you use this maybe for wildlife or something else, maybe landscape or whatever, you don't see this, so you cannot use that, right? So I'm gonna show you for the portrait only. So the first thing I would like to do here is to, I would like to increase the photo enhancement all the way to 100. And let's keep the enhanced face at 60. You can play around with these, but I think 60 looks pretty good. Now, if I click on adjustments, I can also increase the JPEG artifacts reduction to get even better quality. Now you can see here, it's already really good. And here we can select to place this on a new layer. You wanna place this on a new layer just in case you want to go back so you don't have a destructive layer and you can see here if I zoom out here a bit this was before this is after it looks really good so that's it for the photo restoration it's a pretty cool function and try it out on some old photos and maybe you can restore your own photos so thanks for watching catch you on the next one